Hey, welcome to the second part of the Flask Tutorial series. Uh, in the previous version, we saw how to create or like how to design a, a login page using Flask, uh, Bootstrap, and jQuery and all. So, uh, in this video, we'll see how to uh, pass, like how to post data from that login page to your Flask application. So, in this, uh, to your Flask application, so we'll, we, we'll try to input some username and password from the front end and on clicking the submit button, that data will go to the uh, Flask uh, endpoint. So let's see how to implement that thing. So I'll be starting from the same application here. So first, uh, we will be activating our, uh, our virtual environment here. You can go to the VEN folder that you created last time, uh, the virtual environment folder, and activate. So when you activate, you should be able to see the VEN space here. Once this is activated, uh, I'll simply do a flask run. That should run the application. Once you have the flask application running, then you should be able to see the login page here. Let's start by adding one more route here. Uh, after a route. This is for handling the sign handling the sign in process here. Now for sign in process we'll be we'll be reading some data from the post request. So uh, and moreover this route it will only accept uh, we'll only allow uh, post methods here so I'll, I can define it here. Uh, post so get request won't be allowed on this round so, and moreover to pass the request data we need to import request module here once you have uh, request here what you can do is uh, let's try like using request request dot uh, form and the field so it will be username uh, and password probably for returning the JSON data, uh, you'll be using the JSON module. So, what we can do here is uh, I'll just cut this thing out and return JSON dot uh, dumps, return an object, username will be requested form dot username so I'll just save this thing I'll run my app now I'll be using postman for making uh, now to test uh, this particular route like uh, to test this post and find I'll be using something called postman you can download postman extension from like postman from uh, from Google so once you have uh, this postman stuff installed um, just keep it post here and enter the URL so here uh, the URL is localhost 5000 slash sign in and uh, we'll pass some form data username and let's say it's uh, J and I'll just click send so that sends uh, the data too and here you can see the response here uh, the response here it's and we are, since we are returning the username here you can see the data here so uh, it means that how this thing is working so now what we can do here is uh, I'll stop the server and we don't need to return this thing as of now so first we need to do one thing we need to check if uh, the request has both the data if it has request form request dot form password that condition will validate the user and we pass in both the data so it's better to define the variable here uh, username 
Reviews.form Username and password Reviews.form Password You can validate these things here If username and Password, we can pass the data to the validate user method. We need to define the method here. Validate user, the name, password, return true, time being. Okay, so this what this thing does right now is um, it checks if the username and passwords are good, and if it's good, then it sends it to the validate user method. So right now we are not doing any check from the DB. Right now we are simply returning a validate user. We are simply returning true. So based on the result, we can return uh, right now return validate. Timing, let's do it this way. Uh, validation this way. Otherwise, we'll simply say the validation is false. Turn JSON uh, validation false. That's good. Okay. So now we have our routes ready. Uh, we can even test this thing. Last run, I'll go to here. I'll pass on the data. So as you can see, okay, it's a bad request. Okay, it's expecting something called a password. Showing some internal server error. Let's have a look. Module object is not callable. Object is not callable. Okay, it's not JSON, it's JSON dot. Okay, it's not JSON, it's JSON dot dumps. That's why it's failing, I believe. So let's restart and try again. Okay, now it's good. So, so now since we have our routes ready, uh, we'll be requiring to make a call from index.html button click to here. From there, we need to make the call to the particular route, to the slash sign and route. So here you can see we have a form here. So we need to post uh, the data. So we'll define an action stuff here, action slash sign in and the method is post once we have defined both this thing we'll just restart the server and see it's working so just load the app uh, we should see the login page here now i'll just enter some entries uh, pass sign in says bad request Okay, it's probably because we haven't really passed uh, the data. So here, for this input, you need to set the name param here. That's what goes to the back in this uh, post parameters. Uh, password. Now let's restart this thing. There you go. So you can see that once the username and password, like once the call goes to this thing and we have some username and some password, it simply returns uh, that value. So now you see how you can pass uh, or like post data from 
and stimul page and flask to the routes inside for validations. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll see how to like connect, uh, like, like how to validate the username and password with the data in our MySQL database. Thanks for watching.